In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Flutter on Android Studio. This will be a very short video, so let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is make sure that Flutter is installed on your computer. You can check that by running the Flutter Doctor command in the terminal. If everything is checked like this, that means you have both Flutter and Android Studio on your computer. If some of them are not checked, you can follow this tutorial for Windows or this one for Mac to install Flutter and Android Studio on your machine. Now we are sure that Flutter and Android Studio are installed, let's launch Android Studio. By default, it should open to the welcome window. If it opens to a window like this one, go to File and select Close Project. This will bring you back to the welcome window. Now, we need to install the Flutter plugin for Android Studio. For that, let's go to the bottom right corner here and click Configure, then select Plugins. In this window, we'll go to the top left corner in the search box and type Flutter. Select Flutter here and click Install. The Flutter plugin requires the dot plugin, so we will install it as well. Once the installation completes, click here to restart the IDE. If everything went well, you should see a new option here that says Create new Flutter project. If not, go back to Configure and select Plugins again. This time, we will go to the Install tab in the middle and click Enable the required plugin. Click OK and restart the IDE. Now you should have the option to create a new Flutter project. Let's select it. Here are the four types of Flutter projects you can create. For this demo, we will just create a Flutter application. So let's select it and click Next. In this window, you can specify your project name, the SDK path, this is the path where you extracted your Flutter SDK, the project location and description are pretty self-explanatory. So let's click Next. Here, you can specify your package name, which will become your app ID when releasing your app for production. Check this video for more info on that. If you don't plan to include native Kotlin or Swift code in your project, you can unselect those two, then click Finish. Flutter will download the startup project from GitHub to your machine. Now that our new project is ready, let's run it. For that, we need to first select a device here. Since Flutter 2.2, our new projects support web by default, so we could choose Chrome or Edge to launch our app, but we will choose one of those emulators instead. Let's choose this one. If you want a Mac, you probably have the option to select an iOS simulator. Now, to launch the app, you can click this icon here or go to Run and select Debug Main.Dar. Since it is the first time Flutter is building this project, it may take some time, so be patient. As you can see, this is the basic Flutter Counter app. As mentioned in the comment here, if we change the primary swatch color from blue to green and hit Auth Reload here or here, Flutter will apply the new color almost instantly without restarting the app. The same thing if we change this tag here and Ctrl S to save. The app title will update almost instantly. While we are here, if you made some changes in the app dependencies and you need to restart the app completely, you can click this green arrow button. This will restart the app. To stop debugging, click this red square button here or here. The Flutter plugins also come with the Flutter Dev Tools. You can access it by clicking this dart icon here and it will open a web page. The Flutter Dev Tools is a set of tools that you can use for advanced debugging and fine tuning of your app. You can also access them using those buttons on the right side of the tool window bar. We will not get into the details of the Dev Tools today. This will be the subject for a future video. This is pretty much it for this short video. To learn how to set up Flutter on VS Code, watch this video. And to learn how to install Flutter on Windows or macOS, check this playlist. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for future content.